Okay, so the pre-work for your poem analysis essay is to come up with four pieces of evidence, two before the shift and two after, that all lead to a major theme, one major theme. So you need four pieces of evidence. So if I have one piece of evidence here that I select, I'm going to uh, put the quote and the page number at the beginning. In the first column, I'm gonna state the device and the keywords that I use. I'm gonna include the connotation and the literal characteristics of the words that are, um, that the device draws your attention to, one's attention to. Then I'm gonna use all three of these columns, what I wrote here, to include these all in my analysis. I'm gonna follow the steps. The first step is to identify and name the devices that the author used. Then I'm gonna have the keywords and the connotation that it leads to. I'm going to explain how the literal meaning that I have listed here links to an analysis. And then ultimately, I'm going to explain the inferences and how it leads to the deeper meaning of theme. So with this, I need to focus on the theme and how the character, what the character does, um, leads to the theme. So to begin, I say the author uses an illusion, a metaphor, anaphor, and ellipsis. So the illusion is to I have a dream. I'm going to talk about the literal meaning. So it literally his uh, Martin Luther King's speech, the um, theme was of hope against inequality. So that would have to tie to my character's uh, dream. The anaphor and ellipsis, the syntactical devices, repeating I and will and here to stay, lets me know that he will be committed to his goal. He's committed to his goal. The metaphor, um, he's grasping and holding on to tomorrow. The metaphor is tomorrow is linked to the dream. So tomorrow really means his dream. He's holding on to his dream. Um, he's gonna hold on to it and be committed to it. So ultimately these words assist the reader to recognize the connotation is positive. The character is hopeful and committed to his dream of rising above inequality. Therefore the theme is hope. I have all one through five. It's not in that order because I use so many devices which you do not need to do. So yours will be a little bit shorter and probably all in the same order as the directions. Uh, so make sure that you're also in formal language. You do not use I or me or you unless it's in the quote um, and you do not use contractions. And your verb tense is all the same. Uh, you're in present tense.